Hi there, so today we're going to be making this fabulous green line flower fascinator and here are all the items you'll be needing. Now let's look at the items. You'll be needing your 7 inch width or 6 inch width green line, you'll be needing your ribbon, you'll be needing the ribbon rose flower or you can make it yourself or join us in brush classroom and learn how to make it for yourself. Then you'll be needing your thread, your clip also your needle your measurement tape and your uhu gum okay so let's take our crinoline that's the main thing so i'm going to be cutting it but before then notice this lines you can get to know how to remove this lines in a crinoline master's class and much more okay so i'm going to be measuring 10 inches from this crinoline make sure when you measure you don't get this bump in your measurement because that would distort the shape you want to get all right so now this is what we want to make this look so first thing you need to do is take off the thread that is in the cream line all right so that done you fold it like so into two fold it again like that and like this i hope you got how to do that if you did it you can um reverse <laughs> all right so now i want to make sure that i'm having my loops in the same size so i did that that i'm going to sew it all together keep watching and learning remember if you didn't get it reverse or rewind <laughs> and watch again all right let's keep moving so as you're watching how to um, tie it up um, remember I just told you about the Crane Line Masters class now it's online on telegram and you move at your own pace and it will make you learn everything you need to know about Crane Line okay so I've chopped off that part now let's get back to this and I've done eight pieces because we're going to be making use of eight pieces for this rose now this is how you form the petal rose you put the petals together you sew them side by side to a certain extent Keep watching and learning. Notice a pattern also. So one is facing up, then down like that. If you look back close, you will see that there's a pattern that I'm following. Okay, so now from the fifth one, you start putting it on top. You're not putting it at the side again. But once you sew the top part, you also sew it on the side so that it stays streamlined at the base and keeps standing as it is. Keep watching and if you're gaining value from this video so far please do give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed please click that subscribe button and the bell so you get notified of any new upload I Once done with fixing the petals to each other securely, the next thing you need to do is sew it, joining them side by side so that they all keep standing up. Okay, so our rose is coming up. Can you see how it looks beautiful? Now I'm going to be making use of a clip to as my fascinator holder here. If you want to know all the kind of fascinators holders you can use, you need to watch my video on fascinators holders. I will drop that in the description below. And this is how you sew your clip to your fascinators. Keep watching and learning. next thing I did was to take a piece of ribbon and I'm going to be using it to cover the sewing on the fascinator clip. So this is how you go about it. So I take that piece and I'm going to be folding it into two at two edges with my blue glue being the adhesive. Alright, so that done, I've already sized it so I'm getting my perfect size with this. I'm just checking it again. Okay, and it's cool. So I'm gonna put my glue all over like so, and I will lift up the clip 
like so and then place it inside to cover up the sewing bed alright of course remember we had some sewing to cover in the top part and that's what we're going to be making use of our ribbon flower alright if you don't know how to make it please join us in the Ventcraft Academy for brush class and you won't regret it because there are other um, flowers you get to learn there also okay so that's that and that's how I found this lovely crinoline flower fascinator now for last week's challenge which was the previous week's challenge this is the answer so congratulations to me okay so let's move over to this week's challenge now this week's challenge you are going to be telling me how many what the total number of inches that was used in making this crinoline flower fascinator the total number of inches of crinoline that was used to make this and the winner is going to be attending brush class one for free so to participate in the challenge all you need to do is write your answer in the comment section of this video and one winner will be picked and announced the following week so you also need to make sure that you click that bell button so you do not miss the announcement on who won that who won to attend bush classroom for free in the Ventcraft academy now before you leave you need to check out this other crinoline fascinator